we I will also be emailing the slides to my homeroom and Sister Muniba will do the same for 4B, inshallah. Okay, mm -hmm. Sister Muniba, over to you. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Um, my name is Muniba Yusuf and I'm a grade 4B's homeroom teacher. Uh, as I'm watching the list, I'm pretty sure I met some of you yesterday at the curriculum night and it was a great pleasure meeting you all. Um, I want to take this opportunity to discuss and show everyone what we have planned for the upcoming year. Um, Sister Ramana, can you go to the next slide, please? <clears throat> so this year, our subjects have been broken down into six different domains. Um, if you can go to the next one. Let's start off by talking about language arts and reading. Uh, ELA includes, specifically ELA, ELA includes vocabulary, grammar, and mechanics, and writing. We will be discussing three different types of writing compositions. Expository writing, persuasive, persuasive, persuasive writing, narrative writing. In ELAR, we will be talking about spellings, phonics, comprehension, genre focus, literature anthology, and fluency. We can go to the next one. As part of the vocabulary session of ELA, we will be practicing SAT words during our class time. Um, the purpose of this is to ensure that the students will be able to excel in their map tests. We will have informal assessments during class time and there will not be any formal tests weekly, inshallah. Next. Uh, with regards to mathematics, we will be going over four domains again. Domain one will have a focus on numbers and operations and base 10 model. This will include things like learning place values well up to 100 millions. And there will be emphasis on multiplication and division as well. In domain two, we will be focusing on operations and algebraic thinking. In domain three, we'll be focusing on fractions and decimals. And finally, the fourth one, fourth, fourth domain will be discussing the geometry, uh, which includes all the shapes and angles. Okay. Uh, our science curriculum will incorporate an integrative approach with lots of opportunities for uh, real work, STEM-based learning. And we will also be covering topics of science engineering, technology, life sciences, earth sciences, and um, physical sciences as well. Moving on to social study, we will examine the history of Texas from the early beginnings within the context of influences of North America. We will discuss important issues, events, and individuals of the 19th, 20th, and 21st centuries. We will focus heavily on encouraging our students to get active and learn the skills they need to stay fit. Inshallah, this will be our mission for our physical education class. Uh, we will play sports and games with the students and encourage them to become cooperative with each other. Uh, our aim will be to develop teamwork and self-confidence in our students, inshallah. You can pass up. For our technology class, the students will design, develop, and code using computers. With this, we hope to provide our students um, the, the building blocks that they need to excel in STEM careers. And the last one is the um, visual arts. In our visual art class, we would like our students to tap into their imaginative powers and develop their visual literacy skills. We will talk about the elements of art, which includes line, shape, color, texture from space and value. And we'll also talk about the uh, principles of design, inshallah. Okay, thank you, Sister so Manipa. Yes. Um, I will be presenting the rest of the slides for this curriculum night. Um, I'm gonna start off by talking about classroom management. Both 4A and 4B will use Class Dojo. So those parents who are familiar with our Class Dojo app, you know that you have to download and you have to accept the link from our emails. They will be separate accounts for 4A and 4B. 
Um, I find this very helpful to let you know about your child's behavior, all the fun school events we have, and also if you need to see pictures from our classroom activities. Um, usually I'm not very big on treasure box because those are dollar store toys and our kids are very big, older, they don't need to be using small toys and trinkets. So I like when they bring a toy from home and share with their friends. Extra recess is always good and I always bring in a lot of brain breaks. Um, this is a good opportunity for kids to understand consequences and they really understand how important social and emotional skills are. So this Dojo app is very, very helpful and I get to share tons of pictures with you all every week, inshallah. Uh, same with Sister Muniba, she's also very hands-on with Class Dojo. It's really helpful and it's very easy for us on our end too. Um, this is our school uniform policy. Please, please make sure once the uniforms arrive, I know they're back ordered. So until about second week of September, we are gonna go a little easy on school uniform only the part that needs to be ordered from Denny's. But socks and shoes, of course, they're available all over. Please make sure that they are snug fit. And uh, this is a special request for us. Please, please, please make sure the socks are changed daily. Um, on our end, when kids remove shoes to do Salah, it really smells bad. I'm sorry to say that, but please, please, please remind your kids that socks need to be changed and washed every day. Um, for girls, another important thing is one piece hijab only, which is also called as an Amira hijab, not to do Shela hijabs because swings and the spinner, that does not allow any loose clothing, shoe straps, any waistbands, anything that has loose cords, that can be a safety issue. That's why either I would have to ask them to remove the hijab or we would do not want them to wear it. It's not mandatory in fourth grade. Fifth and up, we are going to be a little bit more stronger on getting them to the habit of wearing the hijab. So please, uh, we have quite a few vendors in the area to make sure you have a clean white hijab. Since they do salah in school, it's important that they have a hijab on for salah. Uh, daily grooming is also very important. Cre clean uniforms, meals should be cut, nicely groomed hair, very important, especially in the summer season with the sweat and the, it's it's too much sometimes. Um, PE days, uh, maybe for four B, it's Monday and Wednesday, but for four A, it's Monday and Thursday, Sister Mimba. Um, School uniform check, going back to that, we will check for PE uniform also. For my class 4A, Monday and Thursday, it's important. If your child's not wearing a PE uniform, you will receive an email from Sister Uzma. And after two emails, there will be a phone call home and parents might be asked to bring in the correct uniform. The, the main purpose of uniform is to make sure that school and the rules and policies are abided by. Uh, another important thing is when in winter, we will allow school logo hoodies inside the campus. Outside of campus, when you're dropping off, when you're picking up, when we go for recess PE, if we are going to be outdoor, any color hats, offer jackets, they are open. Please, everybody, stay mute. Thank you. Um, this is important for you all to realize that school hoodies can get lost. Everybody's looks exactly the same. So please, please, please take a Sharpie or if you can sew your child's initials if you just write m h it's not going to be enough just maybe make sure you write um muhammad h for muhammad Hussain or something like that if you write grade level and then he still wears the jacket next year then it might not end up in our classroom so if it says third grade and your child is with me the hoodie may not come back to me so please 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 make sure your child's name and grade level is properly labeled on the hoodies backpacks, water bottles, lunchbox, everything. Pretty much everybody's going to Walmart and Target right now. There's similar items all over the school. Um, next is school timings. Drop-off begins very early. You'll see Sister Mazida and mostly Sister Sama outside exactly at 7.35. And I realize that some of you are driving from quite a bit of a distance and you will need that commute time. Please try to make sure your children are in school by eight o'clock. This is when we start our morning adhkar. First day of fourth grade, we'll be in the gym. We will start with the adhkar and the assembly. Uh, one important thing is each tardy, that's unexcused as well as excused, is marked and recorded on RenWeb. 
we actually start taking assembly we take the attendance in the assembly in the gym itself so we are very particular that your child comes to school on time three tardies does make one absence and it goes on your child's record it's recorded every single time on renweb and it stays for the school year more than 10 absences in school which is five absences per semester is excessive your child will miss important skills so please try not to plan for any non-emergency travel any weddings anything that goes out of town unless it's now Zubila, something a family emergency anything we understand but try not to plan leisure trips outside of you know the regular holidays Children and parents will have the extra burden and responsibility of catching up on missed work. We may be able to give you a packet if copies were made, but if they were like hands-on projects or something that didn't need a printed worksheet, I'm sorry, I may not be able to give that to you, okay? And which means that in the grade book for that particular assignment, your child receives an M and it goes like a red letter. A red letter M stands for zero, and it lowers the average for the term. So your children may not like it and makeup test and classwork may or may not be possible every time. So for that term, they might get a 70 because they missed a week of school. So try not to get many absences. We understand doctor's appointments and things, but if they can be planned outside of school timings, that's Perfect. Um, having said that, fourth grade is a big grade level. Every day we are practicing a new concept in class, especially with math. Math curriculum is very heavy and we are going to have to keep a steady pace since the beginning of school. So if your child has missed a week of school, he's already missed a concept and the skills that are built on that concept. So inshallah, we'll take care of that. Uh, COVID-19 is, I know, officially over, but there is flu season coming up very soon. Please, please, please make sure your child does not have a very high temperature or any symptoms of illness, because if it's contagious, I can get sick, Sister Muniba can get sick, all of the kids around us can get sick. If you experience any symptoms at home or if your child has exposure, has any symptoms, please check for temperature first, check for all these symptoms and please try to keep your child at home and fever is not the only thing it could be headache it could be vomiting diarrhea or a persistent cough you can make other kids sick because you just want to send your child to school so please be mindful of that other kids may get even more severely sick than your own kid so we want to make sure that this does not spread at school Okay, uh, school to home communications, you will receive a weekly newsletter from us over the weekend. Um, usually teachers like to do it Sunday evening, uh, anytime from Friday to Sunday for the coming following week, and you'll have a gist of the lessons that are going to be taught, any wish list, any school events, everything will be there. So please be on the lookout for the homeroom newsletter. RenWeb has access to our lesson plans, homework, grade. Attendance is clearly posted over there so you can see how your child's records are kept very nice and clear. Uh, we will also have a weekly folder that will be going home every Thursday. That will have all the graded assignments, classworks, and tests, including Arabic and Quran. And usually I like to send the weekly packet for math homework in the same folder, and that's what Sister Muniba is also going to do. We follow the same rules and you can have the whole week with your child to complete the homework and it's due by Wednesday. So usually children like to send them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, anything, but Wednesday is the final day for turning in the math homework packet. Uh, Dojo has most of the updates and fun stuff that we post from our classroom. Cheetah Beats is our school newsletter. Please follow it very closely because sometimes bake sales are posted one day before. RSA social media platforms are very active. You can check YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, inshallah. Okay, so talking about lunch. Um, this year, fourth grade has lunch at 12 p.m., which is late to what our kids are used to up to third grade. Even last year, we had lunch at 11.15, and now the time's been moved up to 12 o'clock because, of course, we are a growing school and we are a big school, which means snack time will be consistent. I will have my first snack time 
at 9.30 a.m. and the second sack time will be after Duhar Salah at 2.15. So as you can see, you will need to pack quite a bit of food for your child so that they can stay consistent and they're not hungry, tired or cranky at this time after having breakfast. So that's going to be a bit of an effort, but I would strongly suggest share the dynamics with your child, have him or her learn to pack their food so they understand their requirements and you can oversee what needs to be done. There are it's important that they have a complete healthy meal. I've added a lot of items over here from the school's lunch policy, the nutrition policy, which is mentioned in the handbook. I cannot emphasize enough, but we have seen so many times kids have such less food and we feel so bad for them. Um, uh, we really need them to have a kind of protein because it's they fill up the tummies and they stay focused. If you only send a lot of packaged snacks or sugar items, they cause a sugar rush and then an, then, then, then there's this low. Then they will not be able to focus in class. And we feel bad because, subhanAllah, we cannot feed your kids. They need to get food from home. We don't know what they like and dislike. Um, if there's any questions or comments, if you can leave them in the chat, I will have them at the end of the presentation, inshallah. Please make sure to send a water bottle, especially because summer is very severe this year. We might be cooling down by October, but year long, have a water bottle with them filled up. I will send them to fill up their water bottles in lunch and salad time also. Um, make sure that your child has food. If they have accidentally left it in the car or some they didn't bring it to school that day, I will make Sister Uzma call you guys, inshallah. Um, elementary students can order pizza. If they send money, it's $1.50 for a slice. And if they are ready to pay that day, that's fine. If they left the money at home, you can have them paid the next day. Asalaamu Alaikum, Mr. Aziza. Asalaamu Alaikum. Uh, I will have your slides pulled up, Sister Aziza, so you can meet with the parents in just a minute. Inshallah, if you want to introduce yourself. My name is Sister Aziza Audi. Inshallah, this year I'm going to be the fourth grade Quran and Islamic studies teacher. Inshallah, we hope, inshallah, we're going to have an amazing year together. So, first I'm going to talk about the Quran, inshallah. In Quran, we focus, inshallah, this year we're going to focus on Quran reading and rules of tajweed also we're gonna do memorization but gonna be heavily on reading but of course it's according to the students level and abilities so in quran we work with the students up on their level if they are like level one for example they're gonna be working on al qaeda nuraniya if they're done they're good they're gonna start reading inshallah from the quran so it's gonna be split into different groups according to their ability and their level in reading and memorization so in Quran, our goals for Quran, emphasis on ability to read from the Quran in Arabic with proper tajweed and maharaj, and understand the general meaning of the surah and also the assigned words because they're going to be given weekly assigned Quranic word vocabulary and they will learn each week. It depends on the surah, which surah they're learning, the tafsir of the surah. They will learn it's the meaning of the words, the main words that are repeated in the surahs. Also, we want the students to apply and reflect on the lessons they learn from the Quran from the Quran in their daily lives, inshallah. Next, please, Sister Amina. So for the grade fourth grade Islamic studies curriculum, actually focus, we teach the students du'as and hadith. They learn the du'as, its meaning, its virtues, and I always ask the students to memorize the du'as too and their meanings. The hadith, they learn the hadith, its meaning, translation, virtues, but I don't ask them to memorize the hadith usually. Uh, also, fourth grade Islamic studies focus on a lot on salah, on ahkam salah. It focuses on sunnah salah, wajibat, and all fires of salah. Alhamdulillah, it's heavy in the, on that. Uh, also, selections of the Quran will be discussed and will correlate with what is being learned in the Islamic studies class. So during the Islamic studies lessons, also we're gonna discuss some ayat depends on the lesson they are learning. We focus 
we, inf we emphasize on developing good character and morals, inshallah. We are heavy and work a lot on terbiyah, inshallah. We know, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. May Allah help us achieve it, inshallah. Can we go next, please? Homework for Quran. So it's going to be there are different levels for reading and memorization. I, I don't give homework for memorization, but I give homework for reading. But of course, there are some students that like to memorize more. They are encouraged, and I want them to do that. Because in the classroom, anyway, the students will be given 20 minutes, up to 20 minutes daily to practice their Quran, either reading or memorization. And uh, I will be given weekly, I will be giving reading log for the students that's going to be in their folder. So they can keep track of their reading and memorization. And if the parents want to see it, so you, they know where the students are, with, what is their level. Uh, there is, I don't give Islamic studies homework. The students do all projects or classwork, test everything in the classroom. They practice, alhamdulillah. They always, alhamdulillah, achieve it. Alhamdulillah, blalim. Test for Quran. I test the students weekly, of course. I introduce the new ayat on Monday, the new Quranic words, depends on which surah they are learning. I keep testing the students all the week because I, mashallah, we have, I have 20 students. I can't test them in one day. So every day, today, for example, I see that four or five students are ready. I test them. I let the others practice the next day. Every day, I test a group of students, memorization or reading. And I do weekly Quranic words test and tafsir. And we're going to focus also on ahkam al-tajweed, rules of tajweed. Focus on applying rules of tajweed, inshallah. Islamic studies, to, uh, for Islamic studies books, if the parents, they like to see the books, what the students are learning, they can take the books home by Thursday or Friday, but they have to bring them back by Monday because the books has to stay in the class. They can't keep them at home. And can we go next, please, Sister Amina? Jazakallah khair. So, inshallah, this year in fourth grade, because the students last year, mashallah, they finished all the surahs before Surah al -Naba. So we're going to start from Surah al -Naba this year. Al-Mursalat, Al-Insan, Al-Qiyama, al mudathir so these are the surahs they're going to learn their tafsir and translation. But not like, depends, memorization, it depends on each student's level. And reading also depends on the level. And the Quranic words this year going to be from these surahs because the students who were in the class, they learned all the tafsir of the previous surahs. Inshallah. And can you go next, please? Okay, there are five. Okay. The Islamic studies material cover Aqidah, and we have the Quran and Sirah, Islamic history, Ibadat, morals, and manners. And this is the, the green book here is the third grade Islamic studies book. And fourth grade, sorry, fourth grade is the middle one. Because they teach third, fourth, and fifth, that's why. Okay, this is not mine. Jazakallah khair, sir, amina. And also we have Quranic competition. Quran memorization competition. We do that every year, alhamdulillah. It's optional, but but I encourage the, all the students to participate in it. And mashallah, last year we had like most of the students, they were in the competition, in the competition and they did amazing job, alhamdulillah, and they memorized big surahs, alhamdulillah. So if you have any questions, any concerns, please always feel free to email me, inshallah, and I will reply to you as soon as I can, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Thank you, Sister Amna. Sister Aziza, do you have five minutes if any parent wants to ask a question now? Sure, inshallah. Uh, parents, would you want to mute or you can use the chat? I can read the question for you. Please let me know if there's a question for Sister Aziza. Uh, tests will be on Mondays is one parent's question, Sister Aziza. Maybe a reading test going to be on Monday so the students they can practice reading at the weekend. Maybe I can't test them on Monday on reading. Okay. And how if will they reading. know? Um, how will they know what IR the kid is working on? Of course, in the class, I'm going to tell the students. Of course, that's why this year I'm giving the reading log and that chart. Mm -hmm. It's. I, I will write for the student. Like, for example, let's say Ahmed. I will write down for, for Ahmed, ayah one to four, and will also write the name of the surah, which surah he's doing and which ayat. Okay, and one more parent wants to know, are you testing only on meaning or the spelling of the Quranic words? No, no, I don't test on the spelling, only the meaning of the words. Okay. 
Um, that's about it, I guess. Any other questions? You can unmute and ask. You don't have to use the chat. Okay, that's about it, I guess, Sister Aziza. Thank you. Inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go back to my slides. Um, we are clear about the lunch policies. We are integrating PBL and STEM in every content area. The curriculum that we have selected for our school has built-in projects that do utilize every component of 21st century learning. And you'll see a lot of that when the way your child relates to you, the way the projects are brought home. And you can ask them questions that help them you know, learn more and they want to present at home too. PBL is all about student engagement. STEM is integrated in all content areas, including English as well. And our Arabic and Quran teachers also use concepts from STEM in building their own projects as well. Um, yes, we are not free. The lunch policy stays the same for both 4A and 4B. Please be mindful of the content of food that we're sending to the classroom. We have a lot of new students. Um, they don't have any known allergies as of now, but we are always mindful of the fact that cafeteria is a shared space and we want to be out of the room for cafeteria eventually once the middle school goes up for lunch or we might be using the outdoor picnic area. So we want to keep the whole entire school lunch nut free, inshallah. Um, um, for our returning families and for our new families, this is something we do every month. We have a tarbiya theme of the month like respect, uh, cooperation, and so many others. Every month we have a theme and we look for one citizen of the month who has been the model child for that theme, followed by three tarbiya students that are also selected who displayed that particular character trait for the month. As you can see, these are the assembly recognitions and children love to be recognized in front of everybody. And we will share pictures when your child is recognized, inshallah. Um, this is the grade breakdown again, upper elementary, very close to middle school. So as you can see, they are going to have a 40% weightage for tests. Almost every subject test is taken sometime during the week. 30% for classwork, project is 20%. As you can see, the top three ass assignments are done in class. Homework is 10%. So if homework is consistently not being turned in, it does affect the average. So most of our assessments are formative assessments. They are taken during class time uh, on a daily or a weekly basis. Um, we are still elementary, so we are not sticking to a schedule. It's not like every Thursday is a science test or every Friday is a math test. No. Spelling test for sure is on Friday and we will share the differentiated spelling list with you in our newsletter, but they have enough chances to practice during the week and our Wonders Online Connected homework is based on spelling and grammar practice. So they have very good practice at least three times a week with the spelling words and they will be good to go. You will not have to like take the words, sit down and have your child write them three times, five times. We don't need that. If they understand the spelling pattern, they will be able to get a good grade on their spelling test, inshallah. Um, uh, any questions related to the building or anything like that, please address it with Sister Miraj. I know that the ACs and everything are being fixed and being you know maintained and everything right now. So that shouldn't be an issue this coming school year, inshallah. Um, students' privacy policy is very important. We will be strictly enforcing the FERPA law, which says Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act. So please, 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 if you are friends with most of our classmates or if you know something, please try not to engage in social media talking about other people's children or if you heard something that may have happened to a student in class. It's better to keep it off of social media and also Islam teaches us not to backbite and gossip. What your child or what your friend's mom may have reported may not be the complete picture. So if there's any concern related to your child, you and I as adults can handle it. But if it concerns another child and your child has not even been involved, we want not to be involved in that. 
please do not take other children's pictures or videos and do not post other students social media including us as teachers too please do not post pictures anywhere on the social media inshallah and also if you want to share any children any information about your child other children please check with school and they will explain the policies more clearly to us this also means in informal ways please do not ask other children's map scores grades grade average whether it's an a or a b because every child performs according to his or her level your child may be higher or lower but it's not a good idea to compare and contrast with another child so please be mindful of every child's and every family's privacy inshallah sister sama is unfortunately not here but if you have any questions about her curriculum, um, you can email her and she will be responding to you very soon. Um, students are going to be learning to speak and write in Arabic very, very, very fluently, inshallah. Uh, she has mentioned her spelling test or reading test. She usually alternates them every Friday. So one week is spelling for sure. One week is reading, and you might be familiar with my format in our newsletter. At the last attachment is always the Arabic textbook page uh, scan. So you will see the story of the week, the spelling words, their meanings. And sometimes she includes more information like websites and links or YouTube videos that kids can watch to, uh, you know, practice certain skills for Arabic. So please read that portion of the newsletter for every information you need about Arabic and Quran. The newsletters are very, very clear about any questions you may have, inshallah. Okay. Uh, you want the newsletter to be sent on Friday for next week. So um, I will get back to you on that. Okay, newsletter and Grand Web will have everything for Sister Sama. Uh, communication policy, we kind of went over it, but please, 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 the best person to talk to is the homeroom teacher. If there is an issue in fourth grade A, please approach me. 4B, please go to Sister Muniba. Discussing it among parents or among the, your child's peers is not a good idea because sometimes the information is not completely represented. Being older, kids still do not have a clear view of what's happened. Sometimes their views are very biased towards their friend. Um, sometimes they may not understand what have happened. Sometimes things may have happened outside the classroom or I might have taken a student outside the classroom to talk in the hallway privately. This does not mean that a certain student is in trouble or there needs to be more information given out unnecessarily. So if there's anything, please read through this slide. I'm gonna email this to you. Uh, if there's something concerning your child, please let's discuss it with adults. Your child will let you know what has happened and I can communicate with you. This also includes any incidents that may have happened in the playground, injury, or any behavior issue, inshallah. We went over these slides with Sister Aziza. Uh, map test is taken three times a year. Most of you returning families are aware of this. These benchmarks are taken online and we will share the dates and the time so you are prepared. Your child's had a good night's sleep before and this really helps us evaluate where your child is at and what he or she needs to work on. His strengths and weaknesses are going to be clear. Depending on this, we do differentiate instruction so your child receives what needs to be done for him or her. Um, there is these policies for communication. Please do not communicate with any of us through social media. You will receive our newsletter. Renweb lesson plans have been posted by us. PTCs are two times a year. The best way to receive any communication personally is through our email. And we do have the office phone and you or I, we can request a phone PTC. There's not always a time where we can get on Zoom or drive to school. And if there's something urgent that has come up and you're not able to meet with us in person, please, we can do a phone PTC at any time, inshallah. So um, that's about it from us. If we have questions, I can take them. Uh, does anybody have questions? Or you can use the chat. 
Assalamualaikum, Sister Amina. Yes. Uh, this is Rabia. Um, I, uh, I, I'm not sure if you already addressed this, but uh, I just wanted to request if there's a different way that the children can sit during assembly time instead of sitting on the floor. I feel like that contributes to them getting more germs um, and then getting sicker. Um, so if we could like have some bleachers or chairs for them to sit during assembly. Um, so they I will put in that request, but them. honestly, it's not possible for 200 kids to sit somewhere other than on the floor. But as you know, you and your, uh, their second child also, they do get dismissed at three o'clock. My suggestion would be to come and pick them up at three dot. That way they're not sitting there for long. But as you can see with the traffic and everything, you may or may not be on time. But anyways, students should take a shower after going home. They should do laundry after do going home anyways. And it's not just the floor of the gym. It's the restrooms, the classroom, the playground, everywhere they're picking up germs. So I hope we can work on the whole hygiene and germs at home too, inshallah. But I will let your comment go to the admin, inshallah. Inshallah. Um, and I did, uh, in relation to that, have another question. Is there a way that you guys are going to be sanitizing the classrooms? I know that you know, COVID isn't that big of an issue, but with flu season coming up and everything, um, will there be like wipes in the classroom yes. and wiping down yeah. the chairs and tables? Yes. And, the kids um, do it themselves period. almost every day, twice a day. If the flu season is severe, I always ask for Lysol sprays in the classroom and we always disinfect. I have the air purifier running all the time and so does Sister Maniba. So we will try our best, but when there are kids, there will be germs going around. So the best option is to stay clean, stay safe. And, you know, just like with all the other kids, any symptoms show up, either you get tested or waited out. Do not send your child to school if they are sick at any point. That's the best way to keep all of us, teachers and staff safe, inshallah. So RenWeb access details were not clear. Uh, um, sister, if your oldest child is with any one of us, me or Sister Muniba, it will be under their name and Sister Miraj will email the login credentials to you with your oldest child name. And you can see if you have two, three, four children, all of them can show up in the family portal. Um, that's something I don't work with, but please watch out for Cheetah Beats link or a message from Sister Miraj where the RenWeb details will be clearly given to you, inshallah. Any code for class dojo to join? Yes, I know that 4B is not yet. The dojo is giving some tech issues. We are working on solving them. 4A parents received the class dojo link and for 4B, we'll work it out, inshallah, and by tomorrow, right, Sister Muniba? Yes, inshallah, by tomorrow, inshallah. By tomorrow, yeah. we'll get the tech help needed. Thank you. And any other questions, parents? Um, yes, Assalamu So yes. sister, yesterday you were saying that uh, you will not be using IXL this year. So how can we make them practice the math questions? Because uh, even if they so work on the There is another worksheet, but website the... I like to use. It's called Splash Learn, and it's more of a game-based learning. It also gives kids a place where they can practice multiplication tables, but in a fun way. So while, when I give you the access to Splash Learn, there is a way the kids can do it in school. They can do it at home. And just like Prodigy, they can also throw challenges to their friends. It's more of a game-based venture, and I just like to use it very minimally. So iExcel did not work for me. So they will still get practice online, but I know that as a community, when we sent out surveys and stuff, we realized that parents wanted less screen time for their kids and more of, you know, hands-on activities and paper pencil. And research has also shown that when you engage more senses, you learn better. So we're going to try and keep a balance of both, inshallah. Okay, does the prayer clothes for girl also have to be white? No, if you are planning to send like an abaya or a pull-up skirt or something, it doesn't have to be white. It can be a white hijab and any other dress or an overall piece that you want her to wear. That should be okay. Um, I will share information on how to join class dojo. Any other questions for me? Will students be allowed to bring phones in class? No, no, no. Elementary and middle school does not allow cell phones, please. 
no cell phones in school. If there's any communication, the office can help them make a call to their parents. But for the most part, they do not need any cell phone. No devices should be brought from home, please. And if they even bring a smartwatch, anything that has a recording option and internet option, then I'm sorry, it will be uh, it will be in the office until they can you guys can come and collect it, inshallah. Um, are will they be praying in school every day? Yes, every day in school, Monday to Thursday. Friday, since we dismiss at one o'clock, there will not be any Zohar Salah in class. So uh, Juma will be wherever you guys want to pray as a family. Inshallah. Okay. Just please make sure that you send a cushioned mat to school because it's not easy to pray on the floor. Um, for the most part, they will be playing on the floor itself. So a little bit of cushion will make, you know, otherwise the mat slips and slides. Then I'll try to send it home every Thursday. So will system Muniba so that they can be washed and cleaned. Please make sure they are nicely folded up and in a Ziploc bag in the child's backpack every single day. And they will be good to go, inshallah. Okay, I think we are all about done. By the foundation. Yes, they can leave their prayer mats in the class for the whole week. I have laundry bins. I've asked for that in our wish list, both of us, so that I can teach them how to roll it up and all the 2022 rugs can stay in the classroom. And by Thursday, I'll have them take it from me and get it washed, inshallah. Is there any other questions you had for me? Okay, um, thank you so much for joining. Inshallah, both of us are available via email. And if you wanna set up a PTC even before October, please do email us or we might email you before. Every PTC does not have to be about behavior or academic issues. We may have minor issues we want to discuss or we might need to know more about your family. So please don't be very concerned if you receive a call or a message from us, inshallah. Um, I hope we can stay together as a family this year. Inshallah. One more question, please. Sorry. Yes, please. Um, if it's like someone's birthday, can they bring like treats for the class? No, I'm so sorry. We do not celebrate birthdays in our school. That's our school policy. We do not celebrate birthdays at all. We do not wish them in our school. Um, I'm so sorry about that. Okay. I guess we can wrap up our session. Both Sister Muniba and Sister Amina, we are ready to end the session. Asalaamu Alaikum. Asalaamu Alaikum. Thank you so much for being here. Alaikum Asalaam. Jazakallah Khaira. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. We have one more. Uh, okay. Well done. Yay.